Your hand, uh, Steve, must be like this. The middle finger is on it, okay? and it locks onto all the way to your elbow, so you have no more of these uh, stuff. So the only the movement from the, the Dantian, the quad here, forces a series of adjustments that goes like this. Can you see everything is adjusted out? You, you have this. And somehow your hand has that kind of stuff. Everything is a rod. Okay? And you can only rotate like this. The only thing is, so let me explain one thing, okay? One of the major problems is that you see an optical illusion. And I say this all the time, but watch it, okay? When you go through a hole, and this is where this hand is holding is your elbow. When you push your elbow through a dot, like this, and with rotation, and if I do this very smoothly, like the sleight of hand magician that can like go like this and bend the spoon. It's an optical illusion. This shaking gradually makes you see the spoon is bent. Same here. It's all a stick. But you do this well enough. When it's all coordinated, it looks like there is a curvature. So your hand always wants to imitate this curvature. This curvature, this move does not exist. It's totally, st totally straight. So you lock your forearm from elbow here, use Velcro or use tape, tape yourself, it's totally stiff. And then use a stick so that the stick does not move with you. You are doing a lot of this. And uh, eventually this move, other people will think you are doing this. So once you fully understand it, your mind has no more illusions. Then you won't do anything else. Now you see, I go like this here. When I rotate my dantian, it forces the forearm, the arm out on a line. And when this line is done very, very smoothly through months and months of training, it looks like this. I see that you're moving like this. We have to get rid of that because you'll never have power until your forearm is stiff like this. There is no bending part. 